Hey there, Jim Johnson for Accent Help, and I want to talk about intrusive R's in accents. So, I talked really recently about a linking R, and that's when you get an R like at the end of a word that, that, that would get dropped in a non-rhotic accent, which means that it's an R-dropping accent, fear. That R might come back in if it's linking into a vowel, like in fear of fear, fear of... So that's a linking R. Fear of that R coming back in in order to link into the vowel that follows, which can happen in separate words or it can happen within a word. So that's that linking R where the R comes back in. Now, what else can happen is that you can get an intrusive R in these non-rhotic accents. And that's where if you've ever heard that somebody saying that someone might put the R on the end of the word idea, where it becomes idea, that's a really good idea. You don't tend to have that happen unless it's a non-rhotic accent and what follows the word idea starts with a vowel sound. You've got a crazy idea or about, D or about. You've got a crazy idea. This idea or about so that R might come back in when it's acting sort of like this, linking into a vowel. Whereas fear, all by itself, the R would just drop. Fear, fear, fear of, it comes back in there. Same thing with a word like idea. Idea, idea of, there you might get an R that comes in, in this act of trying to link between vowels even though an R doesn't tend to exist there, well, doesn't, does not exist in that word there, and that people don't tend to say that sound. You will very rarely hear somebody say idea, but you might hear them say idea about, idea of. So it may come in to link into a vowel. This will be really common after what comes out as a schwa sound. It may also happen after an ah or an aw sound. So you may have it happen after the word saw. I saw him. Or we went to the spa and had a nice day. The spa, right? So it may come in after these. This is where you're going to hear it a ton, partially because there are so many things that end with a schwa like that. Like, think about various continents and countries. Africa is, Asia is, America is, you're going to get that intrusive R that may happen for all of those various locations. Really, really common to happen there. So that's what's commonly called an intrusive R, and it will usually only happen when it's transitioning into a vowel at the beginning of the word that follows. There you go. For more info on accents in general, check out accenthelp.com.